But first, back to the nation's immigration ban and a bold move by Washington's attorney general. It violates the rule of law, and I will not put up with it. Washington state takes on President Trump. Our attorney general sues the president over his executive order on immigration. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. Our top story is that lawsuit. KXY 4's Liz Donovan working for you. She's uncovered the details behind this suit, including late breaking news about the U.S. Attorney General as well as Washington State. Alyssa? Well, Nadine, the lawsuit filed today highlights that the state believes the executive order is an attack on our religious freedom, an attack on our state's economy, and harmful to our National Guard serving overseas. Overall, the lawsuit outlines and claims that this executive action on immigration is unconstitutional. As people flooded SeaTac Airport this weekend, protesting President Trump's executive order on immigration, Washington Attorney General Bob Ferguson and his team were compiling a lawsuit to help make those voices heard. It asked the court to declare key provisions of President Trump's executive order on immigration unconstitutional. In other words, if successful, this would have the effect of invalidating the president's unlawful action nationwide. Along with the complaint, a request was filed seeking a temporary restraining order to immediately stop the implementation of the executive action. This is un-American, it is wrong, and it will not stand. Governor Jay Inslee says the president's action will impact our National Guard, working overseas alongside people of Muslim faith who will not be welcomed into our country. Stop giving ISIS recruiting posters. And that's what this executive order is. The attorney general says Washington business owners like Expedia and Amazon will be impacted by the order too. We are a country based on the rule of law. And in a courtroom, it is not the loudest voice that prevails. It's the Constitution. Governor Inslee called upon our justice system to step up and protect the American people. In American history, we have never needed checks and balances like we have needed it today. And we are looking forward to judges to provide that protection. And that not even the president of the United States is above the law. Alternative facts do not work in a courtroom. And late this afternoon, the acting attorney general of the United States ordered the Justice Department to not defend President Trump's executive action on immigration in court. So what does that mean for this lawsuit and her future with the administration? Well, that's all unclear. Reporting from the Skydeck, Alyssa Donovan, KXY4.